What's going on YouTube? It's One Tactical Medic. Uh, I got a request from one of the viewers to do a real quick uh, review on this pack right here. This is the Rifleman's uh, pack currently being issued. Uh, awesome pack. And to kind of do a little size comparison, uh, there's the pack from Voodoo Tactical. Like I said, this pack is great for a day type endeavor. Maybe an overnighter, maybe two two overnighters, uh, but that right there, I mean, this thing you can get a lot of gear in this. And then over here we've got the old school Molly. This is actually my wife's backpack. Uh, currently going through the contents of it, and then over here we got the Molly two. Uh, jumbo pack. I mean this thing this thing can hold everything from your kitchen sink, you know, it's it's gigantic. So then right there that's just a uh, pretty comprehensive medical kit. So I'm not going to go through the contents of this right now cuz I'm kind of in the process of since we're getting ready to go through fall um, kind of going through it and getting all my summer stuff out of there. And going to be upgrading the contents to my cold weather and that type of stuff. But I'll stand it up and kind of go over a description of it. Well made, well constructed. Um, I mean, this thing just rocks. A lot of storage space in it. A little pocket right there. Put your bladder if you want to uh, for your camelback. I've actually got mine on the internal pocket and I've got my hydration straw coming through my shoulder strap and kind of wrapped through down there. Got a canteen on the side. I'm not too fond of those canteen covers, but they work. I just don't like how they go over the top of the canteen like that. But got a Gerber right there, multi-tool. Got one of my knives on the side. This is a just a real cheap knife I got from uh, cheaper than dirt, but uh, I've thumped on this quite a bit. I've split logs with this, and uh, it does not break. I've tried breaking this knife pur purposely, but anyways, I've got that on the side there. Carabiner, just never know when you're going to need a carabiner. I've wrapped some 550 cord around the sheath just to have some extra 550 cord. Inside here, I've got a uh, few items of clothing, but my main thing here is I've got my uh, jungle hammock. It can be strung up between two trees, or it can be put on the ground. I've also got a couple stakes that I'm going to actually take the stakes out of there, even though they're aluminum. It's just extra weight, uh, and if you're in a situation where you need stakes, you can improvise and just use some whittled, drown whittled down tree branches. So, But in the main compartment here you've got a little zippered pocket you know I've got my esbit stove in there and headlamp uh, I don't know what else I've got in here like I said I'm going through the con got a couple flares I've got another another flare so that's the little pocket on the outside for stuff and like I said none of this is kind of organized right now just because I'm going through it more paracord, compass, this is kind of where I keep all my food, I like to eat on the trail, so I've got some stripped down MREs in there, just other food related items, fire starting stuff, toilet paper, easy to get to in case you need to do the deed on the, on the trail. I like these right here, these clips unbuckle, and they're adjustable. So you can actually put your bedroll, like a you know, a foam pad if you wanted to, on top of there. Um, I actually will undo these if I need to put my rope on there. Uh, hold on. Stand by and I'll show you. So you can take your climbing rope, your assault line drape it across there once you roll it up the proper way and clip those in now you've got your climbing rope and stuff with you 
but the inside pocket, uh, it's big. You've got a comprehensive first aid kit, a pair of ACU bottoms, some other stuff. Internal pocket, I've got a camelback bladder in there. This pocket is super deep. It goes down pretty far. I don't know if you can see all the way in there, but you know, the thing about these packs is I see a lot of people just, as you just kind of saw, stuff stuff in there. Um, to maximize your space, you know, those of you in the military, you want to roll your stuff up, compress it as much as you can. Um, you can, you can effectively, I can effectively, and I'm sure a lot of the other guys out there can, you know, I could load this thing up and be on be on the land for five days no problem the only thing that would be holding me back would be uh o2 or excuse me o2 h h2o uh, you know but even then with the water purification tabs uh you know i can use those to purify water uh, i can boil the water i can put iodine in the water so there's ways to obtain water um i did have a uh, sorry, I'm thinking about other stuff. I did have a water purification hand pump uh, that I used on a 14-day trip to the Grand Canyon many years ago, but it has long been long lost for quite a while now. So I think it goes back to that old saying: when you're around friends, uh, gear adrift is a gift. So I need to get another water purifier. But anyways, I'll probably do another video here. Uh, detailing the contents of this and how I load it out for a get home bag or a bug out bag. This is more of a, you know, I take this if I go camping or, uh, you know, this isn't a, a, a get home bag. Uh, it could be, you know, but again, the whole camouflage thing, you know, makes you stick out like a diamond in a goat's ass in a, in a bad situation. But then again, in a bad situation, I'm not going to care what people think. I'm just going to try to escape, evade, and get my my butt back to my AO so anyways you know think about your colors I want the coyote tan on that one just because it blends in more I actually carry this one at school for the classes that I'm taking so this is more of my bag that I take with me everywhere I've got a couple things of water in it a couple MRE stripped down first aid stuff just some everyday survival type stuff but Anyways, I hope this kind of answers your question. You know, another thing about this, this can be taken off. Canteen covers can be taken off, you know, and it's got all the Molly attachment points, you know, to add more stuff. So you can uh, actually take this big bag on the side and you know, put this one and the other one on the other side on this one and have more, more storage capacity. So anyways, I uh, hope that answers your question a little bit. Uh, please subscribe. Give me some feedback. Stay safe. God bless.